Yeah. Awesome. So we're live and shit. Okay. Uh, ringing. Now this is with Mick and Paul. Uh, Mick, Mick is is going on um, on a fresh start. Hopefully we can actually connect because this thing is pretty garbage when it comes to connecting. Uh, this is my co-op build. Co-op slash troll. So, blood level 43 lets me invade all the way down to blood level 30, which is the lowest level at which um, bell maidens spawn. Uh, I'm running 30, 10, 23, 12, 8, 10. Admittedly, I probably could have put a little bit more into arcane, but it's not really necessary. My Logarius wheel is fully pimped out with flat arcane and my saw cleaver is uh, jacked up with physical attacks there we go found him yay there we go hey guys we're live funny how this thing has um, has such an easy time co-oping but just about a bit you know a, a real bitch of a time for everything else okay sir Mick is gonna go trigger uh, trigger Eileen I'm just gonna wipe everyone out down here So the beauty about this is since I'm fully gemmed up, even if it scales me down, it's not really doing that that much of um, of a difference. <laughs> I think I showed some of my gems earlier. Hey, honey, Hi. my daughter is home and she's uh, she's having a peek at what I'm doing. She's probably wondering why Daddy's talking to himself. Where's Mick? Oh. So I think we're we're just gonna be running to the um We're gonna be running to Gascoin.
excuse me. Oh, link, link, link. Yeah. Um, sorry, guys. Let me just get the link up for you. Where'd you guys go? <laughs> Sorry, I was I was getting the link posted. Oh, you're you're up here. Okay. Hmm. Paul had to go. Cause I heard I heard the silencing blank uh, while I was on the menu, but. Shit, really? Weapon at risk already. Do I have durability down curses on this thing? I don't. Oh, I do. That sucks. What about on, on this one though? Do I have durability down curses on it? Oh yeah, um, Mick, I, I posted the, uh, the, the link on our group chat already. Surprisingly, this is my only character that doesn't look ugly. <laughs> Hey Raven. Hey. <laughs> My daughter is here. Gonna kill the pig and open the shortcut. We can actually bum rush Father Gascoigne already. He's he's probably just gonna die like right away. And then it's old Yardum. <laughs> We're probably gonna be able to finish the game pretty quick. Is the cleric beast dead already? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming he probably is. Okay, the shortcut's the shortcut's good. 
we can go kill Papa G now. Yeah, he is. Okay, great. Okay, let's guess coin. Let's see if we can kill him before he transforms. <laughs> Whoa, how did this guy get in here? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> hey, high five. That's a nice cap. Hmm? A nice cap, little girl. <laughs> oh, uh, Sir Paul, are you, uh, are you are you watching on YouTube? Uh, I'll show you uh, I'll show you the gem loadout I have on this thing. It took a while to farm because I don't really have the patience to farm using this character. But anyway, uh, the gem loadout I have on this character is there. It's not exactly the happiest gem loadout out there. So I have a 26 plus 3, a 25 plus 3, and a 27.2. There. You see it? Uh, the gem loadout I have on the Logarius wheel is this. And uh, on the Beast Hunter Scythe, I have this. <laughs> the Scythe was probably the easiest one to get stuff for. Um, I use this m m mostly for uh, for invading. Yeah, uh, sir, make no rush. I'm um, I'm also gonna have to repair some of my weapons. We are doing what old Yarnum next. Uh, old Yarnum is going to be fun because everything's a beast and I have a, a saw cleaver. <laughs> and then after that you can start doing chalices and since you have me and uh, me and Paul with you, it's going to be um, it's going to be relatively easy and fun. Uh, repair. Sometimes I use the hunter's axe but not all the time. Um, I also have a beast cutter but it's kind of hard to get blunt gems for this thing. Uh, I'm still missing one more. Told Mick a while ago we'll beat up Gascoin before he even transforms. Yeah, I saw and we actually ended up doing it. it was, I didn't imagine we would. I'm uh, I'm just waiting to get one more blunt gem for this. Um, it's kind of tough to find a decent blunt gem, honestly. Any suggestions for blood tinge? Uh, as long as you started as Noble Scion, I think, is the starting class. Just put 50, 50 blood, 50 skill, and the rest of it into uh, into vitality, and you're good. That's all I ever do with um, with my builds. I have a bunch of gems here that I want to drop for you. It's too bad you can't drop gems. <laughs> Curse, nourishing. Look at all those nourishing gems. 
I have some decent dirty ones actually, dirty gems. They're, they're, they're just really hard to, to find like awesome ones, you know. Uh, cursed, I don't have any cursed adept that are good. Violent past, oh. Violent past, yeah. Um, well, I guess you could try, just pump everything into, you want to get 50 blood tinge for sure. Because if you're going Chicago or blood letter. Yeah, honey? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, my daughter is here. Um, as, as long as you're going for the, the, the Chicago or for the, uh, the blood letter, my, my blood tinge build is too, uh, too high level for, for it to make sense to use. Um, I want to show it off because I have um, all 31.5 blood, blood tinge on it, but maybe, maybe I'll do that later when, when Sir Mick has leveled up a bit. I, I, I want it to be a bit challenging for me. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm, I'm using the blood level 43, but when he gets into the higher blood levels, I'm going to go use the other guy. Um, Sir Mick, where should I where should I wait? Where should where where are you gonna summon me? Let's just go all out fashion for this. Uh, I guess we have to go old Yarnum. Old Yarnum. Oh my goodness! Didn't I get the? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Then later on we can run to blood to Dark Beast Parl and all that. Blood Tinge is pretty pretty sick, honestly. It's it's a really fun build. It's not as fun as Arcane though, so you you might want to give Arcane a shot. So I can use uh, the the live the live build guy. Buy the the chief hunter emblem. Um, might be better to just level up. I mean, we're we're gonna tear through old Yarnum anyway. It's it's not really a big loss. We're just gonna tear right through this whole stage. That way you get to save your um, save your echoes. I mean, ten grand is a lot. So, and if you if you buy it, it it gets us to skip the. Uh, the bloodletting beast, so you don't get the Thumeru chalice. So it might be better if you just, you know, if we just go kill the bloodletting beast. Or the, the, the blood starved beast, rather. We're gonna tear through him anyway, don't worry. I have an AR of what? 473. For a, for a start game build, so don't worry. So just let me know when you guys want us to um, to start ringing. Old Yarnum? Okay, I'm already here. Uh, I'll start ringing as soon as mix ready. Daddy? Yeah? Can you it's okay, I'll pick it up later, okay? Okay. You wanna take a picture, honey? Sure. <laughs> oh, how do you get there? Okay, there. Silly. Okay. Uh, oh, I also have a boom hammer. <laughs> well, we we can we can use this as well, just for fun. I didn't realize I put so many gems in this character. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. What kind of AR do I have on it? Ooh, not bad, not bad. 647, yeah, this is, this is pretty dank. I hope we get people invading, but there aren't that many, and most of the guys who invade probably have the same gems I do, so we're gonna be in for a show. Old Yarnum, should I start ringing already? Let me see if I can join a party. Um, here.
Uh-huh. Let me see if I can create a party for, for all three of us. Uh-huh. Mick, 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 where? Oh, why are you not appearing? Honey? Yeah, honey? I want to tell you something. I saw Batman there. Yeah, you did? Yeah. I saw it. Daddy? Yeah? This thing was on. Oh, yeah? Was See? it? Oh. Yeah, like that. They were showing things. Yeah. And then it was Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, the one we guessed on. We can watch it uh, tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Uh, should I should I ring already? Wait, uh, let me just check Facebook. Wait for your Od uh, Odin lang. Uh, Odin, Odin Chapel. So you want me to go back to Odin Chapel? I'm at the old Yardum lamp. I wonder, oh no, your, your level isn't uh, high enough. You have to be at 30, I think, so that I can try to invade. I was gonna see if I could end up invading you guys. <laughs> Probably the hardest thing about this build was killing Ludwig at at such a low level. I was barely doing any damage. Uh, the fashion isn't very strong with this character. It's actually pretty crappy. <laughs> Let's go. I want something where you can actually see my face. Nah, it's just cover up with a beak mask. It's okay, we just wait for Mick then. So, Sir Mick, uh, until where do you plan for us to run tonight? I'm guessing we can probably tear through all the way up until... Maybe after Viker Amelia. But if you really want to get good rewards, we can, you know, you can go beat the Viker and then we can just run through and get the Ailing Laran Chalice and... That's really up to you gonna be pretty fun honestly uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy because earlier uh, at around maybe three in the afternoon or two o'clock after I dueled David um, I, I tried invading here uh, in Bloodborne and I got like four consecutive invasions earlier like just like that it, it, it wasn't very difficult so I'd say there's a there's a fair amount of activity let me see if I can invade here. Hopefully I don't accidentally invade you. <laughs> if I do though, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll silence my bell. At, at, at a level this low, I should be able to invade effortlessly, almost. Let's see if I do have one shot potential on, on the mobs here though. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I do. 609 is a lot. <coughs> Blood Starved Beast is, or yeah, Blood Starved Beast is gonna be easy. Let me just organize my shit. Um, oh, I'm out of urns. Should have bought some more. Uh, 
I think this build lets me use the repeating pistol, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost certain it does. Where are my coins? Oh, there. So, Sir Paul, it's not possible to drop uh, items for, for characters here, right? Like, not even consumable souls or echoes, because I already have a shitload of echoes here that I, I probably won't be using. This is my dedicated troll build. I mean, it, it doubles as a co-op build, but it's more of a troll build, really. Let me take a look at my other gems, you know. Uh, should have some cursed poison ones. Uh, I, I distinctly remember having poison, really good rapid poison gems for this one. Oh, shit. No, no, it's not this one that has them. I spent forever farming for some of my shit here. Like these ones. Like a whole bunch of 27.2 uh, gems. <laughs> Arcade Abyssal, but it's not cursed, so it sucks. I have a couple of cursed dirty ones, which are pretty okay. Oh, no, no invasions, that sucks. So, should I, should I ring? I wonder where Mick is. Well, we might as well start ringing, let's just see. So I'm ringing my small resonant bell already. Oh, Jamie Austria um, on Facebook. Can't watch, I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick. Oh, that sucks. Get well soon, GM. Or you could watch it on, um, on your phone and just turn the brightness down. Everyone's getting sick, good God. Get well soon. You know, I just realized I haven't edited the the, uh, the description on my on my channel. Oh, cool! Uh, I'm 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 being summoned already. Uh, the magic mech, yay! Okay, so we're just waiting for Sir Paul. I got summoned in ahead. <laughs> I wonder if I, if I got the roar gesture. Where's Paul? Good question. <laughs> oh, I do have roar. Let me see if you can actually drop items, because I, I don't think you can. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Where's Paul? Oh, there we are. Rang my bell. Okay, great, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the the uh, the fan, the electric fan, face me for a bit. I hope it doesn't annoy you. It's just that I'm starting to sweat. It's pretty hot. <laughs> there we go.
Oh, okay, I see. He, he loaded his other build, his Blood Tinge build. Alright, there. Nice, Kanehurst Knight. Okay, we can start murdering shit. Let me get the, uh, the scurrying beast. Yeah, die. Um, Sir Mick, what, uh, what upgrade level are you at? What weapon upgrade level are you at? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go start killing shit. <laughs> Impatient. <laughs> no, I'm sorry guys, I just, you know, just feel like killing shit. Ow, fucker. None yet, you haven't upgraded. Okay, I see. Well, there's, um... I can't get out. Can't get out from where? You got stuck? Uh, it's... It's foggy. We're getting invaded. Oh, no, you, I think you went the wrong way. Wait, let, let me go grab you. You shouldn't be locked in. Oh, you're trying to go back. Yeah, you, you really can't. Over here. Yeah. Uh, Mick, there's 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 some chunks. Oh, uh, hey, hey. Over here. Um, three here. And then there's one more down there on a corpse. And then the hunter's torch is there. Yeah, so you should have four. You need 16 to get it up to plus three. So um, you missed a few in in Central Yardum. Wait, let me let me walk you through here, down down here, and then here. Careful not to fall. And then the hunter's torch is over here. Oh, where did Mick go? <laughs> I think he went all the way down already. Yeah, <laughs> he fell. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay, man. We'll just ring again. You record that <laughs> oh don't worry it was captured on the stream <laughs> yeah I thought he I thought I heard him die <laughs> uh, I, I was surprised he actually fell there it's okay it happens uh, I'll just ring again only drawback here is summoning costs insight so I, I never tried summoning more than one guy though. If you summon more than one, is it one insight for every phantom that you summon? Or is it just one insight and you can summon as many as many guys as you want? Oh, you know the fun thing though? I have a 43, I have a 63, I have a 125, and I have a 150. So for just about every um, level bracket, I can, you guys can, can summon in one of my characters. Uh, Sir Antonio uh, Shiochi, Shiochi uh, commented asking what, um, what gems work on Arcane. Uh, I was telling him two cold abyssals and one elemental gem are usually the best. Um, I'll load up my arcane, my main arcane build later. I have a couple of them. I have one I think at 99 arcane and another one at like 50 and then 50 in strength as well. The, uh, the, the, the tune that I posted, uh, the GGPH tune, it um, 
Ah, okay. Thanks, Sir Paul. That's 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 good info. One insight per use of the beckoning bell, not per summon. Yeah. Which is which sounds about right, because I can imagine if you're summoning two guys in and and then you die, you know that that, that probably sucks. Some peeps can't access the link, Sir Paul. Uh, the the link to what? The link to my broadcast? That's weird. I have it on public. Oh, maybe they're viewing it from my page because I have it set to friends. They should just view it directly from the link on YouTube. I have that public. Uh, yeah, I have that on public. So. Awesome, we're on. Yay. Okay, Sir Mick, you can head back down and get your echoes. Uh, I'll wait for you here. I'll kill a, a few of these guys. Um, get my torch out. Where's my torch? Okay. Um, I think there's a couple more shards here. Where did Mick go? Sir so Mick, over here there's a couple more shards. Uh, I'll deal with the mobs. Paul, what level is that character at? Like 120 already? Is that PvP level already? Uh, Mick, there's there's uh, a few shards over here. Where's Mick? I'm gonna go kill some shit downstairs. 150, Jesus, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's why you're not doing that much damage. You got scaled down. Yeah, you get scaled down, I forgot. Where'd Mick go? <laughs> you know, every time I co-op with someone, I always forgot you're supposed to be guarding your host. You're not supposed to be running off and leaving the host, and I always end up doing that. Pretty silly. Uh, where the hell did Mick go? <laughs> I don't want to jump down because if I jump down, Jura's gonna aggro and Mick might not be ready to dodge the Gatling gun. <coughs> did he get lost downstairs? Sir Marco, I retrieved my blood echoes. How do I get there? Oh, okay, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll go grab him. Yeah, let, let me go go down and uh, pick you up. <laughs> did you get the hunter's torch? Okay, I guess you did because the guys are dead. Here, um, drop down here to where I am. There, and then one more floor down here. You'll have to remember this path because there's a, it's a shortcut later on. Uh, after we clear the next area. So, uh, Mick, when we jump down, Jura is gonna aggro, huh? So, the minute you jump down, just hide behind the statue. I don't know if you remember the, the, the video, the live broadcast I had yesterday, where I sort of just jumped down and ran past the Gatling gun. You, you kind of have to do the same thing right now. It's a safe spot where we're headed. So as soon as you get down, roll for cover and then heal. And you should be good. Okay. Oh shit, I just realized Mick doesn't even have armor. He's using the, the shit armor from the start. Okay, so this is that that's where we're headed. Oh fuck, 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 no! Who died? Somebody died. Oh, it was Mick. Oh, 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can we can go again. Um, as soon as you get there, just jump off and roll behind those statues that I rolled behind, so that you can, um, you know, you can avoid getting shot, and then you can heal. And then when you're ready, I'll go again, and uh, I'll, I'll show you where to run so that you're safe from the Gatling gun. It's okay, you know, Jura's, Jura's hard to outrun the first time. I remember David and I spent forever trying to get past this stupid Gatling gun. And we tried fighting the hunter, uh, his, his friend in, in the burnt, uh, the charred hunter or whatever costume or whatever it's called. I'm ringing again though. That was pretty funny. We should have befriended that idiot. Jura was a nice guy. Yeah, um, you can befriend him after we kill Dark Beast Parl later. It's it's the only viable way for us to actually get there. Because you have to enter from behind. I know that sounds wrong, but yeah, you have to enter Old Yarnum from the back so Jura doesn't um, get pissed off. Because if he sees you attacking or aggroing the, the beasts, he's going to immediately start opening fire on you. So. So you have to enter from behind. Awesome. Yay. Yeah, we yeah, we have to kill Blood Starved Beast and then we can go kill Dark Beast Parl. Uh yeah, cuz that lets uh, that lets Mick get kidnapped. So you can you can get kidnapped by the snatchers already. And then you can just go to Parl and then Paul and I can tear him apart. <laughs> it just hit me the reason why Paul isn't doing much damage is because he get uh, he he gets scaled down. So once he gets uh, scaled down, even if he has top tier gems, it's going to be doing lower damage than if he was at a lower level with top tier gems. Awesome. All right, let's go. Uh, Sir Mick, it's always a good idea to have your torch out because these beasts, they, um, they're they scared of fire. So if you picked up the torch downstairs, it's always a good idea to have it out. Oh, and pick up the, the shards here. Uh, I'll go draw Jura's fire and you guys can... so that you guys can hop down safely. Where's Mick? Okay, here, hide. I'll draw his fire again. Here. There you go. Should be pretty safe. So let's not kill him. Let's... Yeah, let's just head straight in here. Where are my blood cocktails? Um, Sir Mick, if you want to explore the area, there's um, 
There's a lot of stuff here. No, nothing really worthwhile. Uh, no, no, don't, don't, no, Mick, not there. Uh, don't pass there because it's gonna aggro everyone. You can pass here. And then I'm gonna throw a, a cocktail at them so that they get distracted. And then I'll kill all of them. <laughs> okay, now they're all dead. <laughs> Uh, so you can just loot the shit. Uh, there, there, there's a few stuff over there. Like, there's something in there. Don't forget to pick up the, um, ritual blood here, because you're gonna need it. Ritual blood. Uh... There's a few shards over here, so you're gonna want to get these ones too. Ow, oh, motherfuckers. There's a few shards there. I'll get the scurrying beast. Uh, no need to open the shortcut here, it's pretty pointless at this point. Because uh, we're gonna get a better shortcut over here anyway. I'll get the scurrying beast. Shining coins are pretty shit in this game. Nowhere near as good as prism stones. Sir Mick, over here. More shards. Uh, be careful with the werewolves. There's quite a few of them here. I think there's like six of them. Uh, there, there are a few more shards over there. Uh, yeah, where I'm pointing, there are shards there. Yeah, there. A bunch of shards. I'm gonna go kill the wolves here. Oh, sweet Jesus, they're dying in one hit. All the uh, the werewolves here drop um, bloodstone shards anyway, so it'll help you get your weapon leveled up to plus three. There's a beast blood pellet here. Where's Mick? Over here, Sir Mick, there's uh, six beast blood pellets over here. Sir Mick, you there? Is Mick there? Is he AFK? Oh, Mick, over here. He doesn't want the beast blood pellets, I guess. Oh shit, he's gonna get ambushed by the werewolf. Fuck. <laughs> Sir Mick, over here. It's okay, if he doesn't want the beast blood pellets, that's fine. Paul, are you there? Could you show him where the beast blood pellets are? I'll open the shortcut here. Because I, I think he's going to need it later on.
Okay, no need to go there. It's just a shortcut. Yeah. Fire paper up here. Cermic beast blood pellets. You don't get many of them in the game. Six of them are here. There's another six in the DLC. And the rest of it you don't get until you can buy them later on. Okay, yeah, great. Cermic over here. Beast blood pellets. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. We have to get you some armor. There, just just follow Paul. He's he'll he'll show you where it is. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna kill the motherfucker here. And the scurrying beast here, and we're good. There, there are no more uh, hostiles. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the actual fuck? Did you guys see that? Like the scurrying beast, I killed it and it just flew away. What the fuck? All right, bloodstar beast. So I wonder if we can kill this guy like really, really fast. Well, the stream is kind of delayed. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, it's not a problem. I, I would imagine it would slow down. It's it's just a good time to stream right now because my wife isn't working, so she's not really using the internet. Um, where's Sir Mick? Did he run inside already? Oh no, he hasn't. It's okay. There he is. Yay. He's going to trigger the beast. I wonder how quickly we can kill this guy. It's always delayed a bit. Oh, okay. So it's it's never like 100% real time. So make be careful with the poison, okay? I got poisoned. <laughs> I, I'm starting to really feel sorry for these bosses. <coughs> Sir, make I'm sorry for ruining your playthrough. I mean, th there's there's no thrill in. <laughs> in this with the way we're, we're tearing through them, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's really gonna piss Jamie off when she sees that. <laughs> I'm headed back, yeah, we're, we're just breezing through all of them, you know, we're just hitting them like a tornado and then that's it. <laughs> uh, I'm headed to Cathedral Ward so we can uh, we can walk Sir Mick through. Dark Beast Parl, yeah. Yeah, we can go to Parl. So Sir Mick, if you want to go to Dark Beast Parl, what you can do is um, spend all your echoes first and then go to Cathedral Ward and right outside, you'll notice that the Snatchers have spawned. Just let one of them kill you and you're good. Yeah, I think the only boss I haven't gotten, uh, I haven't beaten in this this playthrough is Lawrence. Yeah, I haven't killed Lawrence and I haven't killed um, Orphan of Cause. Mainly because there's no point to killing Orphan of Cause. Um, I can't use his weapon. It requires 20 in Arcane and instead of putting it in Arcane, I put it all in Strength. Because I want to be able to use uh, the wheel. The wheel has a 2012-10 requirement. I think it requires 10 in uh, uh, 12 in dexterity. So let me have a look. Yeah, 2012-10, 10 in arcane.
Or, if Sir Mick wants to tear through the chalice dungeons, we can. So we can help him get... Uh, Parl. Okay, Parl it is. Yeah. So, Sir Mick, you know what to do. You just get kidnapped by the Snatchers. And then you can summon us at the Ahargul lamp. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go there now. The Hypogean Jail lamp, rather. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go there now. Oh. Uh, yeah. Sure. Guys, you gotta excuse me. I'm not gonna log off. I'm just gonna go take a leak. I need to pee, like, really bad. Oh, fuck. It's... it's the, the lamp is busted. Son of a bitch. Ah. Uh, Oh yeah, that kind of sucks. Because in my world, um, the Hypogean Jail Lamp is busted already. Uh, I, I gotta make it there. And I think I left the Hunters alive, so... You might have to summon me like outside the boss fog. I don't know if I can be summoned here uh, anymore because I'm already at that point in the game. Shit. Where can I ring? Uh, you'll have to ring at the Hypogee and Jail Lamp, so you have to get kidnapped first. So yeah, getting kidnapped is gonna be necessary. Outside the boss fog, the platform just before Parl, okay. Yeah, so you do have to, um... Okay, well anyway, you can run straight to him. Uh, just make sure you get the, the scurrying beasts, so you can get your weapon at least up to plus five. Um, Sir Mick, do you remember where they are? Platform just before Parl. Okay, I'm uh, I'm already here at the platform just before Parl. <coughs> uh, I gotta take a leak. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm I'm ringing my small resonant bell already though. I'll be right back. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, I'm already in Hypogean. Yeah, okay. Um, the thing is, you can't summon me there. So just go down the spiral staircase, or go up rather, from where you spawn. And then um, there's a door there with the two witches who grab you. Just go straight through, run, and then go to the left cage. And just go straight all the way out, past the snatchers all the way out. There's like a hole in the wall, and you'll end up uh, here. Where, where I'm standing right now.
because I've already um, th that stage changes um, as you progress through the story and I already progressed it to the end so I don't think I can be summoned there anymore but I'm outside the boss fog like where, where you encounter Parl And then after Parl, you can befriend Jura. After Parl, what do you guys plan to do? You guys want to do the chalices, or you want to progress a bit further into Viker Amelia? We have a whole lot of options available to us at this point. My bell is still ringing, by the way. So once you're here, you can you can ring your beckoning bell. ringing as well okay So, what do you guys think of the um, of the trailer that they released? I think I asked you guys this the other day, but you know, um, it, it's funny how people are insisting that it's um, that it is a a Bloodborne Two video. You know, as much as I want it to be a Bloodborne Two teaser, I'm, I'm pretty convinced it's not. I'm almost a hundred percent sure that it's um, it's something else. I'm having a hard time. Uh, lol, sorry. Wait, it's okay. Uh, Yahargul is is pretty late game. You're you're probably not supposed to be there yet. Anyway, we're just kind of rushing through so that we can we can fight um, so we can fight Parl. Oh, Sir Mick, don't forget to progress Eileen's quest line. Okay, I'm not expecting Bloodborne. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Honestly. Hey, cool. There's four guys watching. I wonder who the other two are. Hello, sirs or ma'ams. Thank you for joining us. Pressured to make now. Don't be, because almost everything in that area, given that you haven't leveled your weapon up, I think, is probably going to one-shot you. Other speculation is Tenchu. Yeah, that's that's also what I'm inclined to believe. Tenchu or Kuon, I think, is what Vati shared on his um, on his page. I, I never got to play Kuon. I remember seeing it when I was when I was in college, <coughs> but I, I don't think I ever got to play it. won't scare the crap out of me, huh? <laughs> uh, which is feasible. Yeah, honestly it is. Shadows die twice. I remember there was an enemy, I think, in Tenchu 2 or something. I can't remember which Tenchu. Who says, um... He, he's a shadow, so he, he could die twice or something like that. The only 
only thing I remember from Tenchu is Lord Gorda expects much of you. <laughs> that's that's just about all I can remember from that fucked up game. It was it was really annoying because when you fight Mayo at the end. Oh, and and that fucking boss with a bear, Boo. Yeah, Boo tired. Yeah, that 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 game was. That game was old, god. Too tired. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, I wonder what happened to Mick. My armor is kind of shitty. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, you might have missed the one right outside Cathedral Ward. Oh, where'd everyone go? It's like nobody's watching anymore. You guys still there? Have to, uh, do I have to ring now? Uh, you'll have to ring when you get to the area outside. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm here near the boss pod. Sir Mick, are you already there uh, outside Parl's place? So I'm curious, did either one of you play um, Lords of the Fallen? Because I downloaded that shit and I hated it. Um, it was such a Dark Souls ripoff. I, I think I killed the first boss and I made it all the way to the part where you have to cut someone's arm off and then I stopped. It was... shit, it was just painful to, to play again. You played it? Oh yeah, it, it was... Yeah, it's clunky souls, it's shitty souls with um, with shitty upgrade paths and all that. I hated it. It was it was such a blatant Dark Souls ripoff. I'm, I'm surprised that um, Miyazaki didn't sue. Well, he probably wouldn't even have to because I'm pretty sure it didn't make an impact to the sales of Dark Souls. Because there's something about Miyazaki that's just really fucked up that, you know, you cannot replicate what he's doing with Dark Souls and any other IP that he actually touched. You know, it's funny, uh, I, David and I were talking about, um, David and I were talking about Konami and how Konami seems to be hell-bent on alienating everyone who made them, um, who made them famous. <laughs> Like, they alienated Igarashi, who made Castlevania, and they alienated Kojima, who did, um, who did Metal Gear for them. It's like they're intentionally pissing everyone off. I'm outside Parl's boss fog. I'm ringing my, my small resident. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. 
Oh god, I hope I can be summoned though. Uh, it's weird. I still have my password on anyway. I mean. Konami's digging. It's actually, it, they, they dug their own grave and they've already jumped in. Honestly, I, I'm never buying another game from Konami again. Igarashi is making a new Castlevania-like game called uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, and Kojima is probably producing other games as well, or going to move on to produce other games as well. So I'm definitely going for, for that. You know? I'm, I'm literally outside Parl's boss fog. Uh, it's kind of weird that I'm not getting summoned. I want to get summoned because I, I, I enjoy that fight. God. What the fuck is going on? Paul is with me now. Yeah, uh, it's, it's weird. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting summoned. Wait, let me silence and then ring again. Small resonant. I'm standing right outside the boss fog right now. Weird. If I don't get summoned in like five minutes, you can go and kill him already. Uh, I'll join you for the next boss fight. It's it's no worries. Well, it, it's kind of worrisome for me. I'm finding it weird that I'm not getting summoned in. Sometimes the connection is, is like this, but I, I don't know. The stream seems, seems pretty fine. Not sure why it's... Oh, fuck. Lost connection to the network returning to the fucking title menu. Uh, let me try loading it up again, okay? Uh, give me a couple of minutes. I knew something was up. Fucking shit. It's weird. I'm not even on Wi-Fi. I have uh, the, the Ethernet cable plugged in. Weird. Oh dear, yeah. <laughs> oh dear is putting it mildly. Uh, here, I I'm, I'm loading again. Registering with a Bloodborne fucking server. You know, if there's one thing they need to patch, they need to fucking patch how matchmaking works in this game. It's like, it's easier to get a random invasion or a random co-op session through the short root ritual chalice than it is to actually get co-op with passwords. I have no fucking idea why. David and I were talking about this. It's almost like they put multiplayer in as a, as like an afterthought. Anyway, I'm ringing my small resident again. Sorry for the delay, guys. It's weird. There, it's ringing again. What the fuck? What the fuck? He's already dead in my world, so I should be able to, to ring properly. It's so fucking weird. It's cool, we're just chilling here. <laughs> Now I'm probably just getting pissed off because matchmaking is such shit in this game. You know, I, I bet if I try to invade, I'll probably end up invading you guys, but co-op is just like gonna take forever. So fucking weird. You know what, if you guys are still on, you guys can go ahead and kill him. I don't think I'm gonna get summoned into this fucking boss. You guys can go ahead and kill him, I'll join you for the next boss. So weird. The fuck? Yeah, you, you guys can go ahead and kill him. Uh, I'll, I'll join you guys for the next boss.
No, it's okay. I I I canceled my my ringing because it's it's fucking annoying. I, I I think there's just something about progressing the game, wherein it doesn't count as being hypogee in jail anymore. It counts as being Yahar Ghoul, so it's not even detecting my presence or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I I canceled my ringing. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna go kill the keeper of the old lords while I'm wait while you guys destroy that guy. You're probably gonna tear him to shreds in like two minutes anyway. So it's okay. You can you guys can go ahead and murder Parl. I'll I'll kill the keeper in in the cursed defilement using the uh, the live character for now. It's it's no worries at all. Don't worry. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I am going to go kill the keeper of the old lords while um, while Sir Paul and Sir Mick are are destroying Dark Beast Parl. Um, how am I going to kill the keeper of the old lords? Simple. I'm going to spam executioner gloves to death. Now um, this is the curse to Meru defilement, so I have 50% HP. The annoying thing is the first two bosses here are elemental bosses, meaning fire. And uh, physical attacks scale down, but fire attacks or ele any elemental attacks don't. So it's still pretty much a one-shot um, kill on me here. Uh, which isn't really that big of a problem, because uh, <coughs> if I'm fighting her from a distance, it's not difficult anyway. I already have a plus 10 weapon here, so I don't see this as being difficult, I hope. I just have to not get careless. I have 50 arcane, so... This takes for fucking ever though, I swear to god. Would be nicer with 70 arcane. That, boys and girls, is how you cheese the Keeper of the Old Lords. Sharp gems are absolute shit. Like, complete and utter bullshit. Uh, if they were like heavy gems that they had a Cursed uh, Abyssal version, Cursed Abyssal Sharp, that would be amazing. So, dex weapons or skill weapons would have actual viability. Um, to make them on par with how hard strength weapons hit. I'm just basically gonna suicide run this this whole part. And then we can we can move on to the watchdogs. Uh, yeah, to the watchdog of the old lords. We killed it. Wow, that was fast. Uh, I, I also killed my boss here. Oh and I just died just like that. He dead. <laughs> That was fast. Let me know when you guys are on uh, which boss you're gonna do next. Uh, I I'm just gonna go open the watchdog and probably kill him as well. Uh, he, unfortunately, you can't cheese the watchdog. You can you can get cheap shots off of him with the black sky eye, but um, overall you're going to have to like literally attack him. Oh god, you got gagged. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to be standing there, I just lost 83,000 echoes just like that. Um, hopefully none of them picked it up so I can still retrieve it where I died, but I think somebody picked it up. 
Yep, somebody did. One of those fucking mobs did. It's okay. 83k is easy to make back. Um, it's it's not all that difficult to, to earn those echoes back. It's it's just really funny that I never forgot where all the switches are for the main labyrinths. <laughs> well, if I bump into them outside, I'll kill them so that I can get it back. Um, just for the hell of it. Sayang din eh. But it's, you know, it's it's no real big loss. Oh, frenzy, motherfucker. Well, you know what? I might as well just reawaken. I don't think I'm going to get them. I'll, I'll rejoin you guys in a bit. Uh, I can't use this character because I don't have any decent gems on it, and I just want to be as OP as possible. Uh... This is the fight that becomes annoying because I'm hoping that he gives me a good cursed fire gem. Uh, something with like attack versus kin down or something. Uh, or stamina up. Because it's going to be a main gem for me. In fact, I farm this boss. Uh, because I need to. That was dangerous, you're always supposed to dodge to the left. When he does the, the charge. And you always dodge when he does that into the paw that's, uh, that's actually swiping. I'm trying to break his face so I can start spamming the executioner gloves on him. His, his moveset's pretty easy once you've, you've gotten the hang of it. There you go. Oh shit, oh shit. Any form of ranged attack usually prompts him to do that, so... It's always best to just use ranged attacks when he's in the middle of an attack animation. So you don't risk getting hit. want to stay away from that AOE. Usually the threaded cane's a good idea against this guy. Uh, Sir Mick, you can summon in Cathedral, uh, Cathedral Ward. Oh, his face is still broken. Great. Very good. Please, he's dead. There you go. Huh, <laughs> Amigdala next. Okay, so let's hope it was a good cursed fire gem. Not some shit that I'm not gonna be able to use. Ah, oh, fuck me. Uh, 19.8, but HP gradually depletes. Fuck my life. 
So I'm probably gonna farm this guy offline. Uh, I'm gonna go to Amygdala now. Where can I summon you to? Uh, yeah, let, let me know where you plan to summon. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go and... Uh, I'm gonna go and trigger the switch real quick. Blue elixirs help a lot. That way those motherfuckers don't follow me around. Uh, because if they do... Well, where's Eileen? Oh, you have to open the two gates first before she spawns. You have to open it from the inside, so you're gonna have to go all the way down into the chapel. Uh, Sir Mick, you're gonna have to um, open the gates from the inside, so you're gonna have to go down from that door in the chapel where, um, where Parl... Uh, where where you make it to the old hunter's workshop. Oh, I'm gonna need um, formless Odin runes. Formless Odin runes because I am going to use um, arcane attacks purely to kill Amygdala the easiest cheesiest way to do it it's not a guaranteed win though because you know um, amygdala has has that random one hit, one hit kill potential anyway so. once we've done this we can go um, we can progress story mode you know, the main story so that we can get is and then we can do I Hill later. Because for I Hill you need an item called Living String, which you only get um, after you have... Well, after you've lowered the Brain of Mensis, because you get it as a drop from the Brain of Mensis. So I'm just going to get the Formless Odin rune. Uh, plus four. So I can equip it. Sir Mick, were you able to trigger Eileen already? It, um, you just gotta make it all the way to the bottom. <coughs> I'm gonna use my Echoes to level up as well. Uh, might level into Vitality, maybe. Well, it's not like Vitality helps because I'm gonna be doing FRC dungeons, so I might as well level into something else. Level into strength. Uh, what's my durability at? 189, yeah, it's reasonable. Repair. I can't believe I got a shit fire gem. Uh, I need good fire gems if I'm gonna take on the uh, the undead dark beast in um, in Lower Lauren. Because uh, it's a depth 5 chalice, so it's almost like playing at new game 5 or something. Um, Communion. Oh, I don't need the extra echoes. Uh, I, I need the extra bullets though. Uh, acquire. And the rest goes into bullets. Yeah. Get rid of this and this. We want the black sky eye. Black Sky Eye, where the fuck is it? Oh, I haven't gotten it yet. Well, the Executioner Gloves will have to do. It's not like the eye is all that accurate anyway. So here's hoping I actually get um, Amygdala in one try. I don't want to have to keep coming back. Amygdala in FRC dungeons drops Abyssal Nourishing, so those are great for the Boom Hammer. Amazingly good for the boom hammer for um, for the tonitrus if you have it.
Watchdog of the Old Lords is ridiculously easy if you have a serrated weapon. Under any other circumstances, he's a bit of a challenge, but... Hey, Sir Paul. You're there. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if Mick was able to spawn Eileen. Uh, I'm, I'm currently doing um, Curse Through Meru Defilement. Apologies, I need to get going. Need to prepare for stuff tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. That's okay. It was fun. It was fun. We can play again next weekend. Sir Mick, just let me know. I'm just beating Amygdala. I'm not supposed to get cornered. It was awesome playing with you too, sir. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, here's hoping I get Amygdala this time around. I don't find her that difficult here. I find her difficult in the other arenas. The, um, the ones with the pillars, which is almost always where she spawns. I'm just going to kill Amygdala, then I'm going to go get some rest. Uh, I don't want to make the game unfun for Mick, because if he... If he keeps summoning me, I'm just going to wreck all the bosses with, with the end game gems that I have. Because the build earlier was more of a troll build than anything else. So yeah, we're going to fight this motherfucker here. What the fuck, yo? Let's wait for her to face this way. Keep getting hit, why do I keep fucking it up? Oh shit. Oh! What the fuck? That's kind of weird. Oh no, I think I know what to do. Oh, nobody's watching anymore. Boo. Uh, well anyway, Sir Mick, if, uh, if you do go back on, I will... Um, I'll just kill Amygdala so that you can see it later on. Um, Hopefully I get the strats down properly. I have a way to beat this bitch without um, without taking damage. If you're going to do a blood pinch build, it's going to be a lot easier because you're going to have access to Simon's Bow Blade. And uh, Simon's Bow Blade lets you basically kill her from a mile away, literally, without having to worry about shit. Um, so yeah, here, here goes. Oh shit, she keeps jumping. Oh, I fucked that one up. <laughs> Kinda sleepy too, I guess. We'll uh, we'll do it again tomorrow. Yeah, um, I have work tomorrow night though. Um, I'll probably go live in the morning if um, if possible, or it depends if I if I feel well enough. Maybe I'll call in, uh, or if I feel down tomorrow, I'll probably call in sick. If you want to stick around until I kill Amygdala, that's fine too. You know. Uh, I'll probably get her within the next couple of tries. I just keep fucking up my dodges. Uh, I don't know why. If I don't get her in the next two tries, I'm, I'm gonna call it a night too. I'll continue tomorrow. You know, I think the reason why my throat is all fucked up is because I still keep talking. <laughs> uh, let's see. I just gotta get out of this fucking corner. Gotta keep dodging to the side. There 
you go. But this is where it becomes a little bit more dangerous. Here I just go for her arms. laser goes back a second time this time in, in the second phase so just have to wait for this attack because it gives you free hits for the head so does that You can pretty much just Executioner Glove spam her now. Oh fuck no! There, that's an example of fucking up colossally. I'll get her on the next try though. See, that is how you fuck up. That is how you fuck up a boss fight. Fucking shit. <coughs> with, with 50 arcane, all bosses uh, become trivial, honestly. Except for Logarius. something open. Okay, there we go. There we go. Shit, really? You know, an alternate strategy is after you've done the visceral, don't attack the head first. Uh, wait for it to heal and then do it over. So that by the time she enters the third phase, she has so little health that you can just pick away from her from afar. Pick away at her, rather. That was, that was pretty fucking annoying, really. Uh, I hate getting her down to such low health and then losing. Although, she's nowhere near as frustrating as fighting her um, like without ranged options. If, if you're stuck with physical attacks, uh, the third phase is, is very difficult. At least for me. I, I never really learned how to fight her fair. I always used builds that would allow me to exploit it. Um, I, I deleted my physical build w in order to make this character. You really? 
really have to time when you make blood bullets because you don't want to end up making one and then you get locked into that animation and you can't dodge. Like where I am right now is a very dangerous spot. You never want to be pinned against the wall because she, she just has such ridiculous range. You don't want to get stuck. That was a waste. I could have gotten a fully charged R2 out of that. That was a complete waste. Oh shit. Yeah, I am getting fucking sleepy. This is... Like, the stupid attacks like that aren't even supposed to hit me, what the fuck. Pathetic. Uh, this, this fight is just pathetic for me tonight. One last try, one last try. Honestly, this level is already too high. 86 is very high for for a regular playthrough. Even for the chalices, it's pretty high. Yeah, I just want to open up a bit of space, because um, being up against the door is just dangerous. There, this, this is a lot better. You just want to go around in a circle when you're fighting her. Save the shots for when they're sure. Okay, she's open after this attack. open after this one too. Fucking shit, really? I keep fucking it up. I keep fucking it up. replenish all my stocks after I kill her using the echoes I get from her. It's not that difficult. It's okay. Fuck, I can't believe I keep fucking it up. So annoying. So I assume the one guy who's still watching is you, Sir Mick. Let's go. Come on, face, face me this way there. There 
go. Bad timing. I had the black sky eye. Because <laughs> the executioner gloves is great, but um, when you're fighting from this far away, black sky eye has better accuracy. There we go. I, I'm, I'm done for the night. I'm so fucking done for the night. Um, yeah, I'm done for the night. Uh, I'm too tired for this shit. Uh, I'll, I'll do the rest of it tomorrow. Uh, thanks for sticking with me, Sir Mick. Um, we'll, we'll do this again tomorrow. We can probably dungeon crawl the whole day tomorrow. Yeah, so thanks again, Sir Mick. Um, I'll catch you again next time. Uh, I'm headed back to the Hunter's stream just so that I can uh, I can get the Black Sky Eye later on. Good night. Thank you. Uh, sorry, that was that was a colossal fuck up. Okay. Good night, guys. Bye.